Muslims come from India to come to America and to try to convert, to proselytize, to make members of poor blacks. But that the Ahmadiyya movement was unsuccessful. And one of the members of the Ahmadiyya movement, this guy here, Farad Muhammad, he took that and he tweaked it. He tweaked it just enough to make it, you know, digestible for black folk. And when someone like a fourth grade dropout, Elijah Poole, mm -hmm. heard this man's message in Detroit, he assumed that this man fit all of the qualifications of the Jesus that was to come in the Bible. And so Elijah Muhammad would whisper in this man's ear, you are the one that the Bible talks about that was to come. And playing on Elijah Muhammad's ignorance, this man told Elijah Muhammad, show you right. Show you right. I'm the one to come. I'm the one to come. Shh. Now go away. Go away, little Elijah, and don't tell nobody until the appointed time. That's what he told Elijah. From that lie, from that lie, a man named El Haj Malik El Shabazz a.k.a. Malcolm X, would later be assassinated. By this man's people. And the assassination team dribbles and leaks all the way down to the guy that we know as Minister Louis Farrakhan today. For all these guys were aware of the plot to kill Malcolm X. Elijah Muhammad, being a crafty old fox that he was, he knew that this guy, Farrakhan from Boston, number 11, that he was the student of Minister Malcolm X. That they were very close. Elijah Muhammad made this guy, this sycophant, leave Boston Temple number 11 and go down to Newark, New Jersey, Temple number 25 on South Orange Avenue in Newark, New Jersey, on the fateful day of the assassination of Malcolm X. That Elijah Muhammad being smart and crafty, put this guy in the conspiracy to murder Malcolm. He put him in the conspiracy because the killers of Malcolm X came from Newark Temple number 25 where he went to teach on the same day. Elijah Muhammad made him go there because he wanted to make him complicit in the murder and assassination of Malcolm. He wanted to put this guy here, Farrakhan, very near the scene of the crime. That because he was the student of Malcolm and very close to Malcolm, and that he might flip and trade and become a, a turncoat and a traitor, that he might run to the FBI and he might side with Malcolm. Elijah said, I'm going to put this nigga on the scene. I'm going to make him culpable. I'm going to put him in the same room, in the same city, on the same street, in the same temple as the killers of Malcolm. Now you can justify why the fuck you was there, Farrakhan. You can justify why you were all of a sudden, coincidentally, in 
the same city, in the same temple, on the same street as the killers of Malcolm. You can justify it as sheer and mere coincidence. But all of us aren't stupid. Your teacher set you up, nigga. Farrakhan. I said your teacher set you up. Your teacher gave you sanguous bloody hands by putting you very near and dear to the scene of the crime. Oh, I tie it together. Shout out to everybody for watching this video. I know it went for some feathers, but I was once a part of a religious cult. And because I was part of a religious cult, I have zero tolerance for the cult mind. I mean, think about this before I, I'm going to close up, but think about this. Think about this for a minute. You know you're in a cult when your preacher can tell you to vote or not vote. You know you are in a cult when your preacher can tell you who to vote for. You know you are in a cult when your teacher and your preacher can tell you to shut up and don't speak about another man's assassination, as Malcolm did. For what grown man, for what grown man can tell another grown ass man when to speak and when not to speak and whose assassination to comment on or not? Malcolm X was 39 years old when they murdered him. Damn near about to go into midlife. And he had another man telling him what he can say. This is the mind of a cult. Fuck organization is a cult. No man should have freedom over your expression, freedom over your ideals, and freedom over your opinions. No man should be able to tell you to shut the fuck up. As this guy did to Malcolm. You're in a cult when you don't have the freedom to speak as you want to speak. And there are a lot of cults today. I S U P K. I U I C. And the rest of y'all, y'all cults, because you got a living leader, you got a man at the front who you have to get permission. Captain Tazariak has to get permission to speak and to debate and do what he do. That's what makes it a cult. And they got a living leader, General Yohanna, who claims he's third in line. There's Yahweh Shah, there's Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and General Commanding, General Yohanna. Oh, we are so religiously ignorant. This is why white men and others can come amongst us and do what they do. All right, y'all. You see? Y'all see that? That's how it worked. See how crafty um, Elijah Muhammad was to take fair, uh, take Malcolm X's right-hand man and put him in the position so when things hit the fan and things go down, Elijah Muhammad it, it is way at the bottom of the list and everybody going to be looking at Farrakhan. That's the same thing we see with you know who. The, the, those that, that know who I'm talking about know, right? I done did plenty of videos on it. I don't, I, I shouldn't even have to even mention the man's name. We'll put you right in the line of fire to make a fool out of yourself. Why they sit back and say you failed the mission. <laughs> Told you what to do with everything. 
puts you right on the front line. But what y'all gonna learn? Probably never. Probably never. So with that, y'all, I like to thank Little Monty for sharing that with us. Y'all make sure y'all go check out that video, the full video. It is an awesome video. Khalil Monty is one of my heroes, not goddamn Malcolm X. I know Khalil Ali might like Malcolm X and shit, but I can't stand that nigga as as about a year ago. I can't stomach it. Every time he opened his goddamn mouth, I can't stomach it because he speaks. Now, don't get me wrong either because Malcolm X was like me in the cult. He wanted to see the cult go to the next level. He, he really wanted to free his people. He really wanted his people to advance. But, but, he was a cult member. So, everything that he would have done would have came to naught anyway. And, and just like me, when he fought to really advance his people to the next level, who started to pull him down? The cult leader. You're doing too much. Right? Because if he would have put it to that next level, there will be no more Elijah Muhammad. There would be no more Ties a dockia. Well, that's some of a bitch no more anyway. Good. He's six feet and rotten. There'll be no more commanding General Yohanna. There'll be no more Rakar. There'll be no more Nathaniel Ray. Mr. Nathaniel Ben Israel. There'll be no more Tahar. There'd be no more Judah Nasty, right? There'd be no more. And what Malcolm, I believe, would have done, just like what I would have done, aimed to do, is to bring everybody to their full potential in that craft. Bring everybody to their full potential. Not bring just me. So uh, I, I don't believe that Malcolm would want everybody to follow him. I, I, I believe Malcolm would have had things set up where everybody will be doing their part. Right? And, and, and when I say, like, I, you know, I talk some shit about Malcolm X. I talk some shit about Malcolm X quick than some bitch. Because his words, his intentions, I believe, were, were golden. Right? But his... His intentions was golden. But the idea was still in the cult. He was still living through the brain of Elijah Muhammad. So there could be no good that could have came out of that unless he broke that chain. I, I've listened to debates with Malcolm X Interviews, especially these interviews, uh, these uh, radio stations and stuff, where there there were uh, new news reporters and stuff that asked them legitimate things, and you would see the cult mind come to play, and how he would deflect from questions that was asked him, how he would make up excuses. Right, yeah, y'all gotta go back and, and, and 
in, in this analyzing. Look at it with a, with a pure mind, with a clear mind. Look, just listen to him. He was speaking out of the mind of the cult leader. He wasn't speaking. Malcolm wasn't speaking for himself. His intentions was himself, but it was through the cult leader's head. So that that was the, the, the recipe for destruction. It, it would have been like Malcolm X swagger jack, Elijah Muhammad, and got his own following, but guess what? It still would have been the nation of Islam. It still would have been the fuckity fuck shit. They still would have been worshiping that white man, um, Master Fahar. Like, what the fuck kind of retarded shit is that? You're a pro black cult, not organization, cult. But y'all master is some white man or AK Hawaiian, New, New Zealander or whatever the fuck you want to call that motherfucker. He wasn't black. Chinese, whatever the fuck he was. And, and if you watch, when you watch Khalil's full, full, Khalil Armani's full video, and that's his channel, Khalil Armani, make sure y'all go check it. I know all y'all got a lot to say with him, but fuck with him, though. Fuck with him, though. Tear your ass up and shit with the truth. Just like Killer B. Because the truth will whip your fucking ass like a natural man every goddamn time. I'm Killer B. I'm the Witchfinder General. i like to thank all my supporters on my supporter list. Uh, Brainstorm, Homeschool, Brainstorm Homeschool Academy, Sister P. Uh, Nagy Springfield, Josh. Siberia's the Sleeping Serpent. We got Ar Arcader GT. We we got um, Lon the Rubenite. We got Scary YT Streets. We we got Sahara Junior. We got Yasu Victor Always, San Miguel TV, uh, Myron Edwards, and Bill Hill. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, and with that, y'all, I'm up out of here. This is my little morning waking up still in bed rant so i'm up out of here y'all check y'all check the make sure y'all go check out khalil Monty's video um like share subscribe and shit and do the same with me all right y'all if y'all want to get out of supporters list get hit my cash app dollar sign coke buster and we up out of here peace